Welcome to the world. All right, everybody. Uh, I'll pause this. We're going to do kind of another slime opening and a comparison today. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it up above. Um, a while ago, I opened my first ever slime. This is the slime. This is the goopy, goopy baby. She's glittery. She's blue. She's pretty. Um, and she she is a pre-made slime. She's not a homemade slime. She's not any of the fancy brands of slime. She's just crazy art. And it's literally called crazy art, crazy slimy. Um, I could not find a link for her anywhere. <laughs> so... And I couldn't find a link for the ones I'm opening today. So the ones that I'm opening today, I got from the dollar store. And they're small, they're different, they're just little itty bitty babies. But I wanted to kind of open them up and like compare them to my big blue baby. Because um, I couldn't feel the glitter in her and I'm wondering if maybe I'll be able to feel the glitter in these because it looks to be like a different sized glitter. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so we're going to just kind of move my keyboard here a little bit and we're going to kind of open up the pink one first well we're gonna try if it doesn't work we're gonna get some scissors and the garbage in my recycle bin right there and we're gonna open them both up so that we've got them open and ready um, and so these <laughs> They don't really have a brand. They're just, oh, that's fun. May irritate skin or eyes. So that's a little alarming. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Um, and this one, I think what they are is they're both, I think a clear slime that just has colored glitter in it, which is what gives them their color. This one has like pink and either like I, I can't tell if that's like pink and red or pink and orange or red and pink, red and orange um, in it and then this one is blue and pink so this one actually I really like because you can tell that it's distinctly blue and pink So we're going to keep the lids kind of separated so that they stay separated. Uh, we're going to move my watch again because we don't want my watch getting into any of this junk. I'm keeping an eye on my cat because she's being insane today. Um, and if you're interested in this eye look um, or like this look at all, there's going to be a video on my channel. I'll link it somewhere up here. So let's go ahead and pop on into the slime. We've got the tops open. We're going to take the top off of this just so we can compare the two. Because I want to like kind of refresh my memory. Plus it's super fun to just poke at this. Now this one already I can see a difference. This one is like when you tilt it, it moves and actually oozes. These do not. These are pretty well stuck. Like, there's a little bit of movement. What is my cat doing? Um, but not a whole, whole lot. So we're going to... I love this. I, I love this. It's just... This one has a little bit of a grip. It's really cold. Like, and if you play with this one too much, it, get, it starts to get angry and really stick to you. But if it's still nice and cold... Um, it doesn't stick to you too, too bad. And so far, the only experience I've got is in these, like, glitter slimes. Um, hopefully, as we go, I might discover, like, some of the foamy ones or some of the ones with, like, beads and stuff in them. Uh, the crazy slime does leave a bit of a residue on your hand. So we're going to go into this pink one first. Oh, oh, that's weird. It's like, it's actually got some resistance to it. So that all immediately is different. It's kind of like rubber. Okay. So this is immediately different. 
because I took it out and it kept its shape. This one kind of reminds me of, oh, that's got some pushback to it. Kind of reminds me of like, ooh, trying to squeeze jello. Maybe, maybe I just need to work it. Like, there's no like stretch to it. There's no, oh, I'm going to be really sad if this is a letdown. Okay, we're going to put these guys back in the cup and we're just going to like kind of work this little bit. Maybe like if you warm it up, just kind of squeezing it and trying, I'm trying to give it like, oh, this one, this one, the glitter comes off. Guys, this one, the glitter comes off. And like, it's not fluid like my blue one is. I'm curious. Cause like, so with this blue one, I can grab some of it and pull. And it's got some pull and it's got some stretch. That's, that's as pulley as that one gets. And then it comes off. That one is very, very obviously a clear slime. Um, maybe if I just try like working all of it, I might. Because when you put it all in your hand, it's, it, it's literally like squeezing jello. And I don't know if maybe like trying to make it cooperate is gonna, maybe it just needs to be like worked a bit. Oh, I'm gonna be covered in glitter by the end of this. So we're gonna move my hair. And you really gotta like put some pressure into it to, and then it just like, I'm trying to see if maybe like warming it up and getting it like more usable, but even then it's still, it's like, there, there's, there's, that, that's a letdown. I'm really happy this is not the first slime I opened, you guys. And it just, smells, like it picks itself up. So like in that aspect, it's, it's kind of like slime. Like if you tear a chunk off, it sticks. Does not have a pleasant smell. We're gonna go ahead and put that one back in there. Like, it reminds me more of like putty than slime because it's not like super foldable and movable and it takes like effort whereas my slimy my crazy slimy blue glitter slime is just like easy and I almost don't want to like ruin this one because it's got that same uh, it's got less pushback but it's got that same pushback See, and like this one doesn't even want to come out of the cup. Oh. Nope. Yep. It already. I, I was hoping it was going to be better, but. You know what these kind of remind me of, you guys? These kind of remind me of. Those things that were around when I was a kid, they were like tubes and like you could squeeze it and push it and it would like roll and roll and roll onto itself and it was like full of liquid and so you could like squeeze it and it was like a, I can't even remember what they're called. But th these kind of have that same feeling, like you could squeeze it and then it just goes and then it comes back and oh the glitter fallout you guys. 
I am. This is all from this glyph. This is all from this slime. Like. Oh. Mm. This, this is not as fun. This is not. Like. This wouldn't even make a good stress ball because you give it squeeze and then it just starts like falling apart. And every time you touch it, you get covered in more glitter. So I almost don't want to put it on my desk. Well, I mean, I guess I shouldn't have expected much with it being Dollar Tree. Um, I just, I didn't think you could go wrong with slime. Like, while it's in its little thing, it's fun. It kind of reminds me of that noise putty. Because as you squish it and air escapes, it makes the farting noises. And if I leave it, as we can tell by the pink one, if you leave it, it does settle. So I think we're just going to leave those to settle. We're going to put the lids on those because those were just not very fun. I'm going to pick up, I'm going to kind of like stick my hands into my slime and see if I can get some of this glitter off. Nope. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this. See, this is what a slime should do when you try and stretch it. At least to my knowledge. See if like maybe rolling it around my hands, it'll pick up that glitter. Now really weird is I still don't feel the glitter. Like, I see the glitter, but I don't feel the glitter. So, is it maybe just because it's too small? See, I'm, I'm already, I went back to playing with my regular slime because this one you can squeeze it. And you can stretch it. And yeah, this one starts to like split. But when you do this, this one actually goes. And as you can tell, it's getting angry, so it's starting to stick to me. But, so, that ended up being a much shorter video than I anticipated, guys. I'm sorry about that. Give me some help here, guys. Like, what other, like, drugstore slimes do you think I could pick up throughout the course of this quarantine that might enter, that might, you know, give me a better slime experience? What, like, should I try some of those fluffy looking ones? Should I try some of the not clear ones? Because so far all I've tried are the ones that you can kind of see through that are full of glitter. And I know there's other ones out there. I know there's like smelly ones. So like, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's any slimes that you guys think I should try that you guys think I might really like. Um, considering I'm new to all of this slime stuff. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Also, has anybody found a slime that doesn't leave a residue on your hands, or is that just, like, a slime thing? Is, is residue just a slime thing? Because if it is, like, I mean, I get it. It's a thing. But I'd love to know if there's one that doesn't leave a residue. So, on that note, guys, I'm sorry this was such a letdown. But, I mean, what do we expect for Dollar Store? I mean, I guess I kind of figured since I've seen videos of people making slime out of stuff from the dollar store that the dollar store could at least, you know, have some good pre-made slime. Because a chemist I am not. So slime is not a thing I want to try and make in my kitchen. But, I don't know. Give me some ideas down below, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, in the meantime, it was wonderful chatting with you. I'm sorry this was so lame and so short. Hopefully we will have more fun on our next random fun adventure. Um, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but we're going to have more fun on our next random fun adventure. Actually, I think I have an idea. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. You know what? So that I can salvage this night, I'm going to I'm gonna go swatch some new eyeshadow palettes that I have. And then hope that those aren't as much of a letdown as the Dollar Tree slime was. On that note, y'all. It was wonderful to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Remember, be kind to yourselves. Be kind to one another. Be the change you want to see in, a, in the world. And as always, especially right now, a smile is infectious. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.